In this video, I'll show you two examples on how to transform the natural logarithm function ln x. Specifically, we'll focus on how to vertically stretch, horizontally shift, and reflect the natural logarithm function. To start, these are the rules to vertical and horizontal shifts. Notice that if you have anything added to the function or subtracted, the graph will move up or down, so you'll have a shift vertically. And similarly, if you have anything being added to the variable, as in these two cases below, you'll be moving your function left or right. Let's start with question one. In question number one, they ask us, given the curve f at x is equal to ln x, sketch the graph of f at x is equal to negative 5 ln x minus 2. Now what you see below is the graph of ln x, and you'll notice something that this blue curve never passes the y-axis. And the reason for that is because any value less than or equal to zero will result in an error. And this suggests that there is an asymptote, which I'll show in red, at x is equal to zero. This is essentially a, a screen, an invisible screen that prevents this curve from passing that point. The first transformation that we'll focus on is this one right here, where you have x minus two. And according to the chart above, that if your x is being subtracted by a value, you shift every x-coordinate along the curve to the right by that value. So for example, this point right here is 1 and 0. The x-coordinate is 1, so you shift that to the right. This point becomes this point right here. This point becomes that point, and you get the idea. And so if we connect these, we end up with something that looks like this. Now before I finish this part off, Remember, the asymptote was that x is equal to 0. That also shifts to the right. So now your new asymptote, this new screen, will be right here. And this will prevent our purple curve from ever passing that point. Our next transformation will be this 5. Now, it's not listed here. But in our previous videos, we learned that if you have a number multiplied to the function. In our case, it's a 5, and we're not considering this negative at the moment. But since this function is being multiplied by 5, that means every y-coordinate along this purple curve will be multiplied by 5. So let's take, for example, this point right here, which is at 3 and 0. This point has a y-coordinate of 0, so multiplying 0 by 5 stays the same. So when we apply this transformation, it will still cross this point right here. But Every y-coordinate along this purple curve will be multiplied by 5. So you can tell that this will be stretched heavily. Now, since this is just a sketch, your teacher won't expect you so much to be absolutely accurate. So this will do. In our last transformation, we have this negative being applied to the function. Now, take a look at the rules of reflection. If you have a negative being applied to a function, then you will reflect the function about the x-axis. What that means is that you will take a mirror, technically, and place it right there and take a look at the reflection of the curve. And what this does is it flips it. So what we have is something that looks like this. And this time I'll use red. And notice that it never passes this point. Now, notice how this was also curved. This will be curved the same way. It's a reflection. So there you have it for question number one. Let's move on to question number two. In question number two, they ask, given the curve f at x is equal to ln x, sketch the graph of f at x is equal to 3 times ln x minus 1. Notice the difference between this. We have one less transformation because there is not a reflection. So we'll start with this part right here. And they say that you have ln x minus 1. This means that all the x-coordinates along this blue line will be shifted along with that asymptote. So that asymptote was right here. It will be shifted this way. And every point along this blue curve, every x-coordinate, will have 1 added to it. So this right here was at 1 and 0. This becomes 2 and 0. And you get the idea. This point becomes that, and so on. So let's connect these points. Our next transformation, which is this 3, tells us that every y-coordinate along this purple curve will be multiplied by 3. Now, of course, 
this point has the coordinates 2 and 0. Multiplying 0 by 3 gives us the same. So essentially, we'll be stretching this vertically this way. And there you have it. That is how to apply transformations to the natural logarithm function ln x. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.